Alright, hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai922. Unfortunately, before I get into the size I review, Double Zeta, I have to redo. Unfortunately. Uh, one of my subs informed me that after six minutes, the audio went out. That's probably because, uh, I don't know, the camera was fucking up. It was skipping. But, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, ties out. 151. Now, majority of this was Diane. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, her memories... I mean, I don't know. Here's the weird thing about it. The first time it happened, it was King who did it. The, the second time, obviously, was Galther, to an extent. Um, I believe. You know. And now it's not like here's the thing, it's not that the memories are completely gone. She does remember what happened like recently. And she does have questions like, you know, this tattoo, that war hammer. And she recalls, and when she recalls the the events of what happened on uh, when uh, Matrona saved her, she freaks out. So essentially, she's not a fire anymore. She's going to be a dancer. <laughs> Poor choice of timing to change your uh, profession. Real, real, real bad set timing. But... That's basically what the, the chapter is focused on um, in this chapter. And basically, you know, she's talking to Matrona, trying to learn the dance moves for this sacred dance. And that's when she starts questioning about what about the Warhammer, about her tattoo, about everything. And then we see this bird creature. Hanging out, handing out flyers, which was kind of weird. And we later on find Meldas, finally get back to Meldas. It's Bizzle. There's a tournament going to be, a, remember Bizzle? There's going to be a tournament there. It's one of the Ten Commandments that is essentially, uh, is this girl the girl who has the octopus? arms so she's the one orchestrating this and there's this weird I don't know what it is it that's helping her I don't know if it's a giant or a god or what but this huge creature that towers over her with like four arms and basically that's what transpires in this chapter now Overall, like, majority of it was Diane. And basically, majority of it was Diane questioning, like, questioning herself about her memories and now that she wants to dance, she doesn't want to be a fighter anymore. And the other thing about this chapter that kind of interests me, that I thought was very interesting, Matrona now has children and a husband. And here's the ironic part about it that's stated in this chapter. The husband she has is one of the savagers that was attacking them that Diane let go. Fate is a funny thing. I mean, look at that. And, you know, basically, Matrona thanks Diane for that, and now she has a family and everything. Matrona, it's, it's, it's a really change of pace. Now, as far as, because I want to bring up the, the Ten Commandments real quick. As far as the Ten Commandments concerned, when it concerns with Escanor, I don't believe Goron is dead. 
I don't believe he's dead. I mean, he was turned to stone, but... He was turned to stone, but I just wonder about that. Because, like, could he come back? Could he be brought back from the, the stone state? But the other one's definitely dead. Mill, whatever her name is. She's definitely dead. So, but this chapter was good. Four out of five. Um, good some little feedback on Diane about her situation and Matrona, that relationship. I thought it was very nice. And now it seems like we're going to have them going into another tournament. And it looks like Melodos is going to go along with Guild Thunder. In fact, Guild Thunder is just funny. He, he was like excited about it. <laughs> Edrickson, Hauser. They're probably going to take, take part. Um, we don't know if Bon knows this tournament or King or anyone else. And according to Melodos in this chapter, um, Eskino went into hiding again. So that's another thing. So they basically going to go to Bizzle for this tournament. This is most likely a chat trap, as we, we saw. And apparently, the the one of the ten, ten commandments that's doing the trap, the octopus girl, knows Melodos well. But I mean, as far as I know, I believe we more or less at this point have two KO Ten Commandments. The other one, Miss Sil, I can't say her name, Melisandre, and we got Garon. To an extent, those two seem to be KO'd. So we go from here. You wonder. You wonder where they go from here. But this tournament should be interesting. I mean, the first Bizzle tournament was pretty fucking beast. So this one should be just as good, or maybe even better. Who knows? We shall see. Uh, but yeah, 4 out of 5, Bonka and I 22. I think Diane's going to get the memories back. It's going to happen. It's not like she completely forgot. There are things that are near here and on herself that are going to remind her of who she is. And that's probably going to bring her back to the center of the sense, hopefully. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm Bonka and I 22. I'll see you guys later. Another Bizzle fighting tournament. This is going to be beast. I'll see you guys later.